Lieutenant Rich Chapman with Portland Fire and Rescue said he knew his crews were going to be busy this winter, especially with the increase in the houseless population. And that means more people living in tents. My fire investigators are telling me that on average, they figure probably about four to six tent fires are happening a day. Earlier this month, a woman who was living near the 405 on-ramp in North Portland died when a candle caught her tent on fire. Chapman says the number of fires is a lot higher than just four to six a day. Not all of them get um, entered into that dispatch system as a tent fire, right? They have come as all kinds of different possibilities. So we're forced to kind of just deal with estimates at this point. To help avoid tragedies like we saw earlier this month, volunteers at the Blanchet House passed out these rechargeable lanterns to those in need over the weekend. What's great about the lanterns that we're handing out is that they don't require new batteries. They, the folks can recharge their lanterns simply by cranking a handle. Thanks to donations, the Blanchet House collected 250 of these lanterns, which can also be used to charge other devices like a cell phone. Now Portland Fire and Rescue want to work with them to find other ways to help those who need it the most right now. We want to be able to, um, to work with guys like Scott and, and figure out maybe there's some, some inexpensive ways to help people get some of those basic necessities that we're talking about, like light, heat. Scott Kerman, who's the executive director of the Blanchet House, says they're looking at ways that would safely allow people to cook away from any open flames. So we want to work with the fire department and see if we can come up with some creative solutions, not just for light, but also for warmth and perhaps um, for cooking or a way to get meals to people. Finding a way to fill a need. The need is very significant and it's going to continue to be very high as we go into 2021. And keep people safe. Joe Ranieri, KGW News.